Section 12 of Ancient Poems, Ballads, and Songs of the Peasantry of England. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. A Dialogue Between the Husbandman and the Serving Man. This traditional version of the preceding ancient dialogue has long been popular at country festivals. At a harvest home feast at Selborne in Hampshire in 1836, we heard it recited by two countrymen who gave it with considerable humor and dramatic effect. It was delivered in a sort of chant or recitative. Davies Gilbert published a very similar copy in his Ancient Christmas Carols. In the modern printed editions, which are almost identical with ours, the term servant man has been substituted for the more ancient designation. Serving Man well met my brother friend all at this highway end so simple all alone as you can i pray you tell to me what may your calling be are you not a serving man husbandman no no my brother dear what makes you to inquire of any such a thing at my hand indeed i shall not feign but i will tell you plain i am a downright husbandman serving man if a husbandman you be then go along with me and quickly you shall see out of hand how in a little space i will help you to a place where you may be a serving man husbandman kind sir i turn you thanks for your intelligence these things i receive at your hand but something pray now show that first i may plainly know the pleasures of a serving man serving man why a serving man has pleasure beyond all sort of measure with his hawk on his fist as he does stand for the game that he does kill and the meat that does him fill are pleasures for the serving man husbandman and my pleasure's more than that to see my oxen fat and a good stock of hay by them stand my ploughing and my sowing my reaping and my mowing are pleasures for the husbandman serving man why it is a gallant thing to ride out with a king with a lord duke or any such man to hear the horns to blow and see the hounds all in a row that is pleasure for the serving man husbandman but my pleasure's more i know to see my corn to grow so thriving all over my land and therefore i do mean with my ploughing with my team to keep myself a husbandman serving man why the diet that we eat is the choicest of all meat such as pig goose capon and swan our pastry is so fine we drink sugar in our wine that is living for the serving man husbandman talk not of goose nor capon give me good beef or bacon and good bread and cheese now at hand with pudding brawn and souse all in a farmer's house that is living for the husbandman serving man why the clothing that we wear is delicate and rare with our coat lace buckles and band our shirts are white as milk and our stockings they are silk that is clothing for a serving man husbandman but i value not a hair your delicate fine wear such as gold is laced upon give me a good gray coat and in my purse a groat that is clothing for the husbandman serving man kind sir it would be bad if none could be had those tables for to wait upon there is no lord duke nor squire nor member for the shire can do without a serving man husbandman but jack it would be worse if there was none of us to follow the ploughing of the land there is neither king lord nor squire nor member for the shire can do without the husbandman serving man kind sir i must confess that i humbly protest i will give you the uppermost hand although your labor is painful and mine it is so very gainful i wish i were a husbandman husbandman so come now let us all both great as well as small pray for the grain of our land and let us whatsoever do all our best endeavor for to maintain the good husbandman End of A Dialogue Between the Husbandman and the Serving Man Read for LibriVox by Rita Louise